My Baby Loves Halloween by Jabari Asim and Tara Nicole Whitaker. Celebrate all the sweet things that baby discovers about Halloween. This own voices board book, the perfect gift for a new baby, features rhythmic poetry from Jabari Asim and adorable art from Tara Nicole Whitaker. Happy Halloween from the Very Busy Spider by Eric Carl. This board book has all the tricks to make it a perfect Halloween treat for beginning readers. Say boo and happy Halloween with some of Eric Carl's most beloved characters, including the very hungry caterpillar and the very busy spider. Trick or treat baby shark by John John Baget. On a dark, spooky night, deep down in the sea, Baby Shark and his friends wondered, Who can we be? Try on these costumes, it's time to have fun. We need to get ready. Halloween has begun. Sing, dance, and read along to this Halloween song featuring Baby Shark and his underwater friends. Stumpkin by Lucy Ruth Cummins. Stumpkin is the most handsome pumpkin on the block. He's as orange as a traffic cone, twice as round as a basketball. He has no bad sides. He's a perfect choice for a Halloween jack-o'-lantern. There's just one problem. Stumpkin has a stump, not a stem and no one seems to want a stemless jack-o'-lantern for their window. As Halloween night approaches, more and more of his fellow pumpkins leave, but poor Stumpkin remains. Will anyone give Stumpkin his chance to shine? A Tiger Called Tomas by Charlotte Zolotto and Marta Alvarez Niguens. When Tomas and his family moved to a new house on a new street, he took it into his head that the new people might not like him. Tomas's mom encourages him to go out and meet the kids in his neighborhood, but Tomas is too shy. Instead, he sits on his stoop, watching the world go by. But on the night of Halloween, opportunity arrives in the form of a tiger costume, complete with a mask that hides his identity. He can go trick-or-treating without anyone knowing it's him. But Tomas will soon discover his costume doesn't quite hide him as well as he thinks. Seeking a Witch by Angela Diterlisi and Ali Smith We're seeking a witch and everyone knows Your skin must be green, a wart on your nose. Should travel by broom, wear a tall pointy hat. Love, I of Newt, adore your black cat. Join two trick-or-treaters on Halloween night as they go on a haunted adventure to find the perfect witch. Fright Club by Ethan Long Each year on Halloween Eve, Fright Club meets to go over their plan. Operation Kitty Scare. Only the scariest of monsters can join Fright Club. Vladimir the Vampire, Fran K. Stein, Sandy Witch, and Virginia Woolf have all made the cut. They've been practicing their ghoulish faces, their scary moves, and their chilling sounds. But when a band of cute little critters comes along asking to join in the fun, the members of Fright Club will find out who really is the scariest of all. Gustavo the Shy Ghost by Flavia Drago Gustavo is good at doing all sorts of ghostly things, walking through walls, making objects fly, and glowing in the dark. And he loves almost nothing more than playing beautiful music on his violin. But Gustavo is shy, and some things are harder for him to do, like getting in a line to buy ice cream or making friends with other monsters. 
Whenever he tries getting close to them, he realizes they just can't see him. Now that the Day of the Dead is fast approaching, what can he do to make them notice him and to share with them something he loves? The Scarecrow by Beth Ferry, Eric Fan, and Terry Fan. All the animals know not to mess with old Scarecrow. But when a small, scared crow falls from midair, Scarecrow does the strangest thing. He saves the tiny baby crow. Soon, a loving bond grows between the two unlikely friends. But is it strong enough to weather the changing of the seasons? The Little Kitten by Nicola Killen Ollie and her cat Pumpkin are out frolicking on a beautiful fall day when they come upon a tiny kitten shivering in a pile of fallen leaves. Ollie warms the kitten up and the three become fast friends. But when Ollie sees lost kitten posters hanging on the trees in the forest, she knows she has to help her new friend get home. As Halloween draws nearer, magic is afoot, and Ollie's good deed is rewarded in an unexpected way. Frankenstein Doesn't Wear Earmuffs by John Lauren A young trick-or-treater has the best Frankenstein costume ever, if he can make it out the front door. Every time he tries to set foot into the dark and stormy night, his overly concerned parents interrupt with yet another warm and cozy addition to his costume. But Frankenstein does not wear floppy boots, or a puffy jacket, or a fanny pack, and he especially doesn't wear earmuffs. Will our young Frankenstein be able to break loose from his bundled layers and have the Halloween of his dreams? The Walking Bathroom by Shantae Grant and Erin Bennett Banks It's Halloween and Amaya doesn't have a costume to wear to school. She dressed as a ghost for the last three years in a row. Witches are overdone and fairies are not her style. She wants to be something different, something creative, something no one else in the world has ever been in the history of Halloween. Little Blue Trucks Halloween by Alice Shirtle and Jill McElmurray Beep beep, it's Halloween! Little Blue Truck is picking up his animal friends for a costume party. Lift the flaps in this large, sturdy board book to find out who's dressed up in each costume. Will Blue wear a costume too? With the delightful rhymes and signature illustration style that made Little Blue Chuck a household name, Blue's new adventure is full of festive costumes, fall colors, and plenty of Halloween fun. A Teeny Tiny Halloween by Lauren Wool and Henry Cole It happens every fall. The leaves from the tall trees that surround her house drift down until the teeny tiny woman's teeny tiny house is buried completely. Inside, it's dark and a teeny tiny bit scary. But the resourceful woman has a plan and a few surprises up her teeny tiny sleeves. Dr. Seuss's Spooky Things by Dr. Seuss and Tom Brannan Written in super simple rhyme, Children will giggle with glee at this ever so slightly spooky board book starring things one and two dressing up in classic Halloween costumes, including ghosts, bats, skeletons, black cats, and pumpkins. Scaredy Cat Splat by Rob Scotton It's Halloween, and Splat is determined to be the scariest cat in the class. Unfortunately, He's just too much of a scaredy cat. He's afraid of a little spider, and everyone says his costume looks more silly than scary. And when Mrs. Wimpy Dimple tells a ghost story in the dark, 
Splat gets so frightened that he tips over his jack-o'-lantern. But when the lights go back on, the entire class is scared silly by a small, black, furry creature with a big pumpkin head. Who can it be? Arthur's Halloween by Mark Brown With all his classmates in costumes, Arthur can't tell who's who at the school Halloween party, and he nearly faints when Buster passes around bowls of eyeballs and brains. But when Arthur's little sister wanders off into the scariest house on the street while trick-or-treating, he's got to find the courage to go in and save her. Will Arthur and D.W. make it out alive? Franklin's Halloween by Paulette Bourgeois and Brenda Clark Franklin and his friends are excited about the Halloween party. But things get scary when Franklin begins to think that there might be a real ghost at the party. Manny Loses His Fangs by Giuliano Ferry The best thing about being a vampire bat is scaring all the other animals. With enough practice, Manny hopes to become the scariest vampire bat in the world. But his world is rocked when his baby fangs fall out, and no one thinks he's all that scary anymore. How will Manny handle this unexpected turn of events? This is a light-hearted look at what happens when things don't go the way we plan, and how friendship can spring up in the most unexpected ways. Vampirina Ballerina by Anne-Marie Pace and Luyen Pham Oh, to be a ballerina, it's a challenge for any little girl, but even more so if you happen to be a vampire, like Vampirina. First of all, you have to find a class that meets at night. Then, you have to figure out how to perfect your form when you can't see yourself in the mirror. And then, there's wearing pink, not the most flattering of colors if you happen to be undead. And that nagging urge to take a little nip out of the other dancers. And worst of all, stage fright. Gilbert the Ghost by Guido van Genesten. Banished for not being scary enough, Gilbert the Ghost and his cat Meow create a wonderful sanctuary for his friends in an abandoned tower. A Ghost in the House by Amy Joan Paquette and Adam Record. When a little ghost goes slip sliding down the hallway, he suddenly hears a groan. Turns out it's only a friendly mummy who shuffles along with the ghost until they encounter a monster. As the cautious explorers continue, they find a surprise at every turn and add another adorably ghoulish friend to the count. But you'll never guess who is the scariest creature in the house. Clever Little Witch by Mon Ti Van and He Wan Yum Little Lin is the cleverest little witch on Mai Mai Island. She has everything she could need. A trusty broomstick, a powerful spell book, and a magical pet mouse. She also has a new baby brother, and she does not like him one bit. He crashes her broomstick, eats pages out of her spell book, and keeps her up all night. Little Lin tried giving her baby brother away, but nobody will take him, not even the orphanage for the lost and magical creatures. Mother Ghost Nursery Rhymes for Little Monsters by Rachel Kolar and Roland Garrigue An illustrated collection of 13 gently spooky Mother Goose rhymes. I Spy Spooky Night a Book of Picture Riddles by Walter Wick and Jean Marzolo. Rhyming verses ask readers to find hidden objects in the photographs.